Looking for a screen recorder and video editor? Today I'm sharing the video editor that I use for every single one of my YouTube videos. So whether you're a course creator or maybe you're looking to start a YouTube channel yourself, I'll share what I love about Camtasia and how it will make creating videos for you just a little easier. Before we get started, my name is Michelle and I've been in the marketing game for close to 20 years now and I love to share what I've learned in the tools that I use with other entrepreneurs. So if this info resonates with you or if you find it helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this one. And if you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments. All right, let's dive into Camtasia. The hardest thing about today's tutorial is the fact that I'm trying to screen record a screen recorder. And so I ran into a couple of difficulties, but we're trying to get creative and do the best we can. So this is a quick look at Camtasia. It is made by TechSmith. And so the good news is, is that if you want to test this out, if you think this might work for you, you can get started with a free trial. I do have a link in my description so that you can click it and start exploring Camtasia yourself. But you're not here to look at the website, so let's dive into what the program actually looks like. I am working with the latest version, so I do have the 2024 version of Camtasia. And so when you open this, and you have to download it to your computer, I'm on a Mac, and so this also works for PC, of course. And it's just a program that you download, so you have the ability to start a new project, to open a file in Camtasia Rev, open an existing project or to start a new recording in Camtasia Rev. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. That uses some of their new AI tools to get creative with your layouts when you're screen recording. So if I wanna start a new project, I would click this guy and then you can see that this is kind of what the video editor looks like. The reason I love Camtasia so much is the fact that it does have a lot of cool visual effects. You I mean, you don't really get all of these effects in a program like Premiere Pro that is easy to understand, especially for beginners. Premiere Pro can be a little overwhelming. I do use it a lot for the videos where I'm doing some like finishing touches on it, but for the screen recording and the tutorials that I do on YouTube, I use Camtasia just because it's super easy to create with it. And so unless I'm uploading media to begin with to start editing, I will need to record. So I have this button up here, I can hit record. And then you can see this green area that's highlighted. I get to choose what I want to be shown on the recording so I can cut things out. Like if I don't want to show the full browser, I could just do a snippet of it. We've got selections here. So I have this area selection that I can choose of, of what I want recorded. I've got my camera selection here. I can, it looks like it's even syncing with my iPhone. So if I wanted to use my iPhone as a camera, it's gonna let me do that. I get to select my microphone. I'm using my Yeti mic. So that's the one that I want to make sure. And then system audio. Sometimes if you're doing tutorials that have music in the background that comes from your computer, your speakers might not, I mean, your microphone's not necessarily gonna capture that the best. And so if you do have audio that is being played on your computer that you want to be captured, then you would select system audio to be turned on. So for the area of recording, I do wanna say it's got all these presets that you can choose from. And normally you would think 16 by nine, 19 by, you know, 19, 20 by 1080, that's the video size that I would want. That's the normal video size. But when I select that, you can see that it's it's super teeny tiny and that's not going to really capture everything that I want because I'm my, my Mac screen is a lot bigger. So what I wanna make sure that I'm doing is clicking this little lock button and then I can adjust this by making it as big as I want it to be so that it'll capture everything that I want. So I'm gonna hit okay and then we can see that this green highlight is the area that's going to be recorded. Now this Camtasia Rev, I'm gonna leave that checked on. You have the ability to check it off if you want. And so what's gonna happen if I check it off is like, you'll still be able to get creative with your layout. This is just kind of like an easier way. So it's like, if you want that picture in picture option with your you know screen recording, they come in as separate items on your video timeline that you can edit. So we're just gonna hit record here. I'm just gonna bring in that website back. And so I'm going to make adjustments on how that's filling the screen. And normally I, this is sort of the process that I go through all the time. We're just gonna do a really quick video. So it'll be, it'll be short and we'll just scroll down the page a little bit. Uh, we can take this moment to talk about pricing. I've been using Camtasia so long, I don't even know if the plan that I'm on still exists 
because I I might have started using it in 2020, 2021, somewhere around that, that time. And I know that I paid for it once and I just pay a yearly maintenance fee to get all the updates. But in the pricing tiers, I think they have a lot of options out there for you. So whether you are an individual or if you want sort of like the business route, I know some of these are just billed once with the yearly maintenance. They also have really uh, great options for education and government. So keep those in mind if that might apply to you and just kind of explore what option might work best. So I'm going to stop the recording and I can do that by going up to the top of my screen and hitting stop recording. And then what happens is it brings in the track one has my audio with my video in it. And then my track two is my screen recording. And so those two are separate. It's so easy to, to make edits on this. Like really, if you're just chopping things off, let's say that, you know, I didn't bring that in and make that adjustment until about right here. Then I know that if this is where I want to start the video, I would just highlight these. I use my quick keys. I use command T that puts a little chop in there. I can easily delete that slide things over, move it around. Uh, when I got to the end of the video, you know, if that was the end, I would just again, chop that off delete it. It makes it makes things really quick to, to edit. Now, if I don't like this square picture in picture, this is where that Camtasia Rev can make that a little bit more fancy. I'm not sure if I had that checked on or not. It's kind of looking like I didn't, but a lot of times I don't use it. So all I do, I'll come down to the visual effects and then I'll use this mask and then I'll pull that mask onto my little camera and then I get to adjust my circle and how I want that positioned. And you can see I'm also back there. So you get double of me. We can just cover that up right there. <laughs> but that is sort of how I do that picture in picture effect there. Now they've got so many cool transitions and you can do animations. You can do all kinds of things with Camtasia. Like if I were to put a split in there and I wanted to do some sort of transition effects, like you just don't get these kind of transition effects in Premiere Pro. So I just like to have a little fun with things, you know, sometimes like you could do a bursting heart. I mean, some of them are a little cheesy, but 2021, somewhere around that, that time. And See, there you go. So you can just put that little split in there and then transition. They've got, you know, you probably are not going to use the heart one all the times, but you can get creative with what you want it to look like. You can also go into the media. You can add if you've got images that you want to pull in, you can add any kind of images. You can add other videos to enhance it. You can do all kinds of animation with text so that if you want text to fly in, you can have it pop up. You can give, as you scroll over these guys, you can kind of see what the effect is. They do have audio effects. So, you know, the the one thing I would say that you always want to make sure that you're doing when you're making videos is the noise removal, the white noise removal. Because a lot of times when you're recording on a mic, they're just, it's picking up a lot of stuff. So that is going to make your voice sound a lot more crisp and clear. And so just making sure that it's got those essential things to make a good video is what you really want. You can also, you know, I've used this tool a lot too, where it's voice narration. So if there was something that I was talking about and I was like, oh, I don't like how I said that. I'm going to go back. I can actually, you know, choose the spot that I want to go. I can start recording my voice and it'll create an additional audio track that I can use to sort of cover up what I was talking about. They do have cursor effects that you can do. So they've got like this cursor glow so that when you are pointing things out, you can just create a little bit more visual interest there. And then if you've made your video and you've completed it, you can definitely export it. You can export it as a local file. You can actually send it directly to YouTube. So if you had a finished product, you could send it to YouTube. It does have a few other destinations so that if you're not wanting to download it, you know, to your computer and then move it somewhere else, maybe one of these destinations actually work for you. You can send it directly to a Google Drive, which is a nice feature to have. 
A lot of times when I'm making these videos, I will export it as a local file and then I'll actually bring it into Premiere and then mash it up with some of my intro videos and kind of complete the project that way. One thing to note though, that if you do need to record something again or add another additional recording, you can easily do that just by hitting that record. And it looks like I wasn't on Camtasia Rev the last time. So I'm gonna click it on this time and then we will hit record. And again, we'll just, we'll keep it a brief little video of us just scrolling and then we'll click on stop recording. And then this is a good look at Camtasia Rev and like what the capabilities are. So you have layout backgrounds and different effects that you can choose from. So layout wise, if I want to do kind of like this circle picture and picture thing and then the background i think this is the one of the things that i didn't necessarily this is one of the reasons why i don't necessarily use camtasia rev all the time it's like i don't need like a funky background in in my videos i want to get my screen as full screen as possible so i tend not to use that but just know that this is available for you i mean if you are a course creator and you're doing like a presentation and you know your screen recording sort of like your tutorials of whatever it is that you're teaching, you know, this could give it a little bit more life and make it look a little bit more jazzed up. You know, they've got the drop shadow things you can do. They've got cursor highlights. You've got reflection. You can just get super fancy with it. Also, you've got colors, filters, if you want to go down that path. And then with Camtasia Rev, once you've picked out which kind of layout that you want to go with, then you can go ahead and hit edit in Camtasia. And so it looks like it just added that to the end of my video. But overall, I just want to say that Camtasia has been very easy to use. You know, I'm somebody who didn't really touch a video editing software until the year of 2020. So I'm still relatively new at all of this. And this has actually made creating videos a breeze. So if you are a beginner out there and you're looking for a tool that you think, you know, maybe you want something a little bit more sophisticated than iMovie if you're on Mac, I know that there's a few other screen recorders out there and I've tested several. I just like Camtasia because I think that what it offers and the ease of use is super important. So let me know what you think. Is this something that you are going to use? You have questions about it? I'm happy to answer anything that I can. Um, if you think there, there are better screen recorders out there, I'd love to hear what your favorite is. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.